Timothy from the Ton Magazine here. It's late fall, early winter in Olympia, Washington where we're headquartered and that means a lot of our work is done inside the garage. Today I want to talk to you about tool rolls. I'm curious what kind of tool rolls you run, what you put in your tool rolls, and if you ride with them on your daily rider. Today I'll show you my tool roll which is the Ton Magazine's collaboration with Tin Duck Denim. I'll show you what's inside my tool roll and we'll talk about how you too can get one of these tool rolls. Thank you. With that in mind, I give you the Ton Tool Roll. We made these about two years ago. We've been making them ever since. Uh, we do them in small batches. They're uh, canvas that are hand waxed. This particular one was one of our first ones from two years ago. It's my daily rider one. It has been on my bike in all weather from really hot to super cold to snowing and in the rain and it hasn't done me wrong. Uh, let's take a look inside. This is done in partnership with our friends at Tin Duck Denim. They're handmade here in Olympia, Washington. Um, all these metal pieces, these are uh, loopless D-rings, so there's not a um, weld or a break on the inside, so they're really strong. All of this banding is military surplus, as are the, um, the buttons and, and everything is all military surplus. I always carry with me a rag no matter what. You never know when you need it. And let's look inside what else we got here. Got kind of the standard uh, tool set for most people probably. Uh, the one thing that I carry usually that's not in here is belling wire. I had to use it recently uh, and I ran out so I need to restock that and put it in. But we have a nice deep pocket for various things, you know, tire check, pressure, various um, parts, uh, spare foot peg sleeves and different, you know, Loctite and your adapters and different torque bits and all the kind of little doodads that you would ever kind of want um, for whatever reason. This zipper, um, you know, you should kind of lube or wax it every once in a while, but um, I've gone two years and I haven't done it yet and it hasn't hung up on me, so um, it's pretty sturdy. We have it um, put in there with a cover on each side so that it doesn't pull off of it. You know, it's going to stay no matter what. You know, some of the essentials I have, I, I carry vice grips. These are like one of those old made for TV products. They were called power grips. But this motherfucker is one of the best tools I've ever had. Um, I have a spanner wrench in here for adjusting um, the suspension on the stock Harley um, Lowrider S when I ride that. Uh, various wrench sizes, um, you know, different uh, Allens and screwdrivers and wire cutters, zip ties, like you name it. It can carry it at all. Uh, it's, it's really sturdy. I'd be interested in seeing for those who have one what they carry in theirs or, you know, just share with us online what you carry in your tool roll. Uh, and we definitely give you a shout out back to kind of uh, keep the conversation going because I've always find it interesting what people have in their tool roll, no matter if it's our product or someone else's or, you know, uh, um, a tool bag rather than a roll. You know, this is a really great leather tool case that is made here in the Northwest and in Oregon. Um, you know, so there's different options for you. That's for sure.